I learned that speeding up your internet has a lot to do with the type of browser that you use. Now I've used a few browsers uh, over the years. I've used, I've been using computers for many years right now. And I started out with the browser that many people did, which was the AOL browser. Uh, I'm not sure if many of you people are still using that, but the other browser which is the most popular today that's most widely used is Internet Explorer. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to load it. It takes a little time to load. It's connecting, and that's basically it. You do the same thing. You want to go to Yahoo, let's say. Oops. See, it takes a bit time to load everything. Now, the browser that I like to use, which is the fastest and the best that I've ever sampled, is something called Firefox. Now just you if you remember how I opened those other two. Now watch how this one opens, how fast it opens. I mean that's really fast. Take a look at that. that took like a second. Like one or two seconds. And let's see how fast it opens up. Let's say Yahoo. That's pretty fast. <laughs> that AOL update came over there. So let's let's try another, you know try another site, it's Hotmail. I mean it's pretty fast. Try a few other sites. So you know this is pretty quick. It's a pretty quick website. What I also like about it is it, it's got a lot of this built-in pop-up blockers that you have in that block a lot of spyware. And that's what's really important about Firefox as well because a browser is not just a vehicle just anymore just to get you to the website that you want to go to. It's also a way to just let you get to the website minus all the other junk that those websites put in. So if you go to a lot of websites and you use you have your computer has a lot of volume and you go to websites which have a lot of junk which they're going to put on those browsers it's really going to start to slow your computer down. Now what Firefox does it does not allow these tracking cookies which come on to your browser to slow your computer down because every time you load a browser those cookies have to load too and that eats up your RAM it also eats up your bandwidth for your internet so it's going to slow you down and that's what fire that's why Firefox opens so quickly it only opens up what it has to open up it has a filtration system that's built in and it, it's it's pretty easy to use you know it, what I like about it it's beta let's say I want to open up a website so if I say yeah see right away it knows when I'm gonna open it gives me a whole bunch of suggestions I didn't even spell Yahoo yet I just put the first two letters even and those right away I'm gonna put Yahoo in you know so let's say it's a let's say I wanna put YouTube watch this you see a bunch of YouTube stuff because I, I, they know you is probably YouTube so they give me a suggestion what makes it faster is that I could just go to this right here and it just gives me you know the result without having even to type it in it tells me how many results match that so it, it's it's uh, it's it's pretty nice you know and um, as, as far as that's concerned the search and like I said it's it's very good when you start using it you'll notice that it blocks a lot of the junk and there's a lot of other advantages it to to it too but for the purpose of this video uh, if you're looking to speed up your internet substantially and also at the same time prevent spyware and viruses uh, that are associated with Spyware to go onto your system which will really slow your computer down. There's something called hijackers and of course pop-ups. I would like to mention pop-ups are really can be a really pain in the neck. So they block pop-ups and the pop-up blocker is automatically installed. It has updates once in a while as well. You should always download those updates. They don't come on frequently but the computer tells you, Firefox tells you when there's an update but what I suggest you is to, if you don't have Firefox, get it. It's free. It doesn't cost anything uh, to get Firefox. 
you know, let's say you have Internet Explorer or you're using AOL browser or like Netscape, whatever browser you're using, the first thing that you should do is just type in Firefox in the search, in the Google search, Firefox, and it should be the first result that comes up on the screen. Right here, just click on it. And then that's it. Just go to the free download. Click on that. And there you go. You know, just click on save. It's going to start downloading. Like you download everything else. After you finish, it'll ask you where to save it. Then you'll see an icon on your desktop. And a, a Firefox will appear. It could be in it could be in the start menu also here. Whatever you know, but usually it'll you'll have a an icon right on your screen. You just open it up, and that's all that's all you have to do. Just download it. It's it's an excellent browser, and I want also want to mention you don't have to get rid of your old browser. You can use Firefox in conjunction with the other browsers. You can keep your Internet Explorer. If you like Internet Explorer, you can still use it. You can use your Firefox. If you have AOL browser, you can still use that. So it's not going to interfere with any of the other browsers. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to see more videos like this, please support it by subscribing. And please leave comments below the video. And thank you for tuning in.